part of the rights of man. And intellectuals were a big part of that revolution. Uh, and prior to that, the only way that they could earn a living and get paid was by uh, working under the patronage of the aristocracy. And so they were virtually slaves of the aristocracy. And so the whole idea. So come on. So come on. Tradition. So come on. 21st century. Uh, and into the digital age in which those rights are expressed in the technology. They are proposals. And by the way, they're proposals largely that come from, not from the individual creators themselves, but from industries that... Of, uh, sort of confusion, of ideology, and also a struggle between uh, economic, powerful economic groups. That is, on one hand, uh, Google and Facebook on the other. Of enforcement have to do with uh, still undeveloped business models uh, that eventually will solve the problem that's already starting to happen uh, where uh, where uh, but uh, they do not endorse piracy uh, and in fact the Creative Commons is an expression of that because uh, the Creative Commons is a way for authors who wish to make their work available to anybody who wants it to do so, and to do so in a legal manner. Copyright license, it means that once the work goes out into the digital domain, someone else cannot take it and lock it up and use it commercially because they would be violating the Creative Commons license and if you want to enforce that, all with copyright and in fact very compatible. But not to see this system that they literally shed blood for extended into the uh, digital age of the 21st century.